plays a vital role in the success of Georgia's public libraries, and Pines is quite unique across the country. While other states are beginning to develop consortia of libraries who, that share an integrated library system and share a catalog and share a common uh, statewide library card, Pines was really at the forefront of that entire effort. Pines creates equity in access to information. Because of Pines, the people in Georgia have access not to just the number of materials in their particular local library, but to over 11 million items throughout the state. Pines still stands at the forefront of resource sharing and innovation in public libraries. My name is Rolando Alvarez. I'm a county commissioner here in Barrow County. Been here my whole life. I think Pines has a, a great positive impact on communities across the state. When I found out you could reserve books that weren't part of the Winder Library and then have them sent here free of charge, I thought that was the most amazing thing. And when I wanted to start a real estate business back in 2008 and 2009, um, you know, I just devoured books on real estate. Um, I used this Winder Library in order to do that, and so I've grown uh, my business from basically nothing into uh, a large enterprise, self large self-sustaining enterprise um, over 10 years and it's the seeds of that success were rooted in this library. Hi, I'm Allison and I'm 13 years old and I have had a Pines card since I was about five years old. I like my Pines card because I can use it for anything. For example, if I'm in a library, I can use it for the computers and to get online and play games. And if I'm not in a library, I can use my cell phone and go to the Pines app and check out books for school assignments. Books that I like to check out are mostly used for drawing, math, or science. I like having a Pines card because it helps me get stuff done.